What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Sleepy Droopy. Today we got honestly what I think are the best three decks for you guys to be able to, you know, grind out that Players Cup 2 coming up right now. I think it started, it, some people have already started. Um, I have personally already gained seven points. Um, so far I've only played three tournaments. Um, but I want to show you guys the top three decks I think that could be good to take into these cups to kind of grind out the points as much as you can. Um, again, this is my personal taste, um, and I think you can argue that some of these deck choices, I don't know. Um, let's just say um, Eternatus isn't on this list, so... Um, but yeah, we're gonna go off with the first deck list, and it is... Sent the Scorch. Um, there's something about this deck that I, it just flies well for me. I felt like I was doing very well with it. Sent the Scorch can quickly build up going second. Um, honestly, in a field where they people can't see your deck list anymore, um, this makes the deck so much better because you can always go second. Most people want to go first, so now you can most likely go second and. Honestly, Volcanion with Flare Starter getting three energy onto a Senti, um, or even splitting your energy where you can Welder onto one, um, and then split your energy, put two on the other one, and then put another one, uh, and then maybe do like a two three split on your Senti Scorches. Um, and that way, if they knock one out, you still have another one up. So, um, I think this can two shot easily any V Max out there. Um, so I think this is a great deck. It's a very consistent deck. This is um, taken directly from Cashman's winning list. Um, this is card for card, his list. So go ahead, check him out. Ask him how to play this deck. Um, I personally found it very easy to play with. And um, I'm just testing out on the ladder. Uh, what was my win percentage with it? Um, yeah, I had about a 60% um, win percentage, which is, you know, the ladder, playing on the ladder, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But 60% win, win percentage isn't bad on the ladder. Um, so next deck is ADPZ. Now ADPZ straight. Um, this thing has a simple game plan. It's just boss, boss game. Um, altered creation, boss, boss game. Um, I'm going for a standard like run of the mill list. Very consistent with two Crobat, two Dedenne, one Eldegoss. Boom, all support Pokemon. Just try and dig, 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 dig until you get your combo ready. Two um, ADPs just to get that altered creation going. Four Zacians and then um, a Mawile just for an extra energy. Um, two energy attacker that can quickly get powered up. Four Cherish, four energy, four. A lot of four ofs that make this deck just keep going. Um, a Chaotic Swell. Um, and then four bosses, two Marnie and Professor's. Uh, four professors research for draw two air balloons to be able to move us around so um again i think this deck is great um very easily loud now you do need to after playing this deck i realize it's not as dumb folded as people say it is you do need to sequence well with this deck or you're you're gonna miss your uh, altered creation combo like a lot um i when i first started and you also have to remember to go first i was going second originally and i was losing out of games um so if you have the chance to go first it's not to say the deck is bad going second it's just better for you to go first if you can um, you can still win games going second, but it makes it a lot more aggressive, and I personally don't like that aggressive game, which is why I also put it second. Um, I really hate the fact that you have to be very aggressive with this deck to get the combo going. Um, there's no there's no chill mode with ADPZ. So, um, all right, and then finally, my first deck choice here is. Da -da 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 -da! Luke Metal Zacian, but I've i've tried every deck um um so far um also adpz my win record on the ladder with adpc is about 45 percent but i also went 4-0 in a tournament with it and lost in top eight um due to a bad matchup so that's why i've kind of considered it as well um but back to luke metal luke metal is i it's just i don't know maybe it's the play style it's the fact that you can play a little slow and not worry about um, essentially losing the game straight out. And I think the fact that people, um, and I, th I think I'm gonna, like after playing the deck, after trying every single deck, I think two factors come into it. One, it's a comfort pick because I've been kind of playing this deck on and off since Sword and Shield. So I kind of already know how to play it. And two, 
I think a lot of people, I'm going to take what um, Henry, the world champ, said in one of his streams is people kind of go dumb after like the third or fourth turn because this meta is very like the games are over in, in like third or fourth game with this deck you can extend it past that period and i think people just forget how to play after that um and i think that after playing this deck i think henry is correct so and just playing this deck on the ladder just playing it today i did three tournaments with it it just felt great um i've only played three tournaments and so far i've gotten um two top fours and a first place so that's a total of seven points um because top fours are one and then first place is five and on the ladder i've gotten a 70 percent win chance with this deck and it's even across the board whether i go first second you typically want to go first with this deck just because in general you want to intrepid sword turn one and like again this is probably the deck i'm gonna use to grind out most of these tournament ladders unless the meta the meta could change where it makes this deck be terrible so um but but it's just it's just a fact it has a great matchup against emacs a decent matchup against adpz i think it's 50 50 it depends on how it goes you can kind of typically alter you can full metal wall their adpz on the altered creation turn and kind of slow them down from there um but sometimes it's difficult to do um well it's not that difficult but sometimes it's just i don't know with one loop metal it's tough um but i'm basically just using um jake gearhart's list here as well uh with the sunfisk stunfisk um it's nice to just have because again energy denial um three lily's pokey doll lily's pokey doll is a big brain plane from jake big brain play big um lily's pokeball just essentially gives you more switch options and also gives you turns to kind of give you so that you can advance your board state because th again this deck wants to advance the game as much as possible to either mill your opponent out of deck run them out of resources so that they basically can attack and then you can come in and attack to finish off the game <laughs> and attack and finish off the game that's basically it's two win cons um or, or just wall those, those uh v max decks with those on zenta um so and even against Senti, it has a decent matchup because you can just wall with Amazenta. Um, if a Senti player doesn't know, does only really has like, um, yeah, with the weakness guards, Zamazenta can kind of like sit there and kind of take the hits from the 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 Volcanions and one shot them out. And then next thing you know, all they have is a, if if they're not smart and they don't attack with their base V Senti, which I've noticed people, I don't know for some reason think that they can handle Zamazenta with just Volcanians and they just evolve their Senti and then they're done. So, um, I, again, I think this is the deck to play. Chaotic Souls might change the Power Plant. Um, I think Power Plants can help slow down ADPZ and maybe the occasional, um, Mewtwo Welder deck that you might see in these tournaments. But, yeah, um, I think this is the deck I'm going to take, um, but uh, yep i hope you guys enjoyed that um video leave a like in the description below um leave a comment as well let me know what your what deck you're gonna try and grind out the most for these tournaments and if you're even if you're going um let if, if you're going for it at all um so but yeah um also quick update on the giveaway i'm gonna have to push the giveaway out um from october 2nd to I believe what is it, October 3rd uh, I said this Friday um, some things came up I'm gonna have to push it out till August um, October 5th um, some things came up where I'm not gonna be able to um, go ahead and put out a video on Friday to announce the winner so I'm just gonna do it on Monday um, again that gives you guys even more time to go ahead and go watch my ETB video and check out how to enter into the into the tournament the tournament <laughs> the giveaway um i am giving away um this champions path turf field gym pin collection so go ahead and go go to the etb video i'll link it in the description below and also put it in uh, the cards as well um and figure out how you can enter the giveaway and um i hope you guys like the content i'm putting out have a good day and peace